Hey there everybody, Jerry here from Android Central and we're having a look at the new gingerbread keyboard. Uh, it's stock in Android 2.3. When you get gingerbread on your phone, if your phone manufacturer has put a custom skin on it, you may not see something exactly like this. Hopefully it's pretty close though, because this one works really well. First thing we notice is the color changes. Uh, the black and orange really stands out, makes it easier to see. And to me, easier to see means easier to use, so that's a big plus right there. The keys themselves, I do believe they're the same color, but uh, they're improved. They're, they're sharper, they look better, they stand out more, so that's another big plus. Uh, voice functions are exactly the same as they are in Froyo, it's the same thing. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me now? see what it caught there you know that's pretty close to what I was rambling and we'll go ahead and leave that there because we'll come back to that in a minute next thing I want to show you space away from it are the extended characters on on the different keys I'm gonna use the punctuation key as an example here as I press it you'll see a pop-up and if you notice in the bottom right hand corner of the pop-up you'll see three little dots I know it's hard to catch them before it flies away but anytime you see those three little dots, that tells you that key can do a little bit more if you hold it. And we'll go ahead and hold it. And you can see we have extra punctuation there that we can choose from. That is nice. No more tapping the number key and hunting on the keyboard for what you're looking for. Uh, it works with a lot of keys, a lot of keys that don't. We use the H for an example. There's no other functions attached to that key. You don't see the three little dots. And no matter how long you hold it, you're not going to get, you know, any other choices. Uh, up at the top, and, and your vowels especially, hit the A here. You can see there's the umlaut and the accent and other characters that, you know, are in different languages and stuff. Quick way to get to them. Glad to see that. Uh, the Q is one last one I want to show you. Gives you those three dots, lets you know there's another choice. Uh, with the languages I have installed, that only other choice is the number one. But it still tells you there's something else there. So good on them for that. Glad to see it. Makes things much easier. And here's what everybody's been waiting for. The new cut, copy, and paste. It's, it's simple. It's easy. You just tap, and it gives you a little orange flag. You grab that flag with your finger. You can move the cursor anywhere you want. Let's go ahead and delete that T. You can see it's gone. Uh, and that ties in well with the copy paste. Let's just hold a word, long press it, select the word. And now you have two of those flags. If you grab them, you can select a block of text of any size. Long press the block of text. And you can cut, copy, or paste. I'll go ahead and copy that. Come down here to a blank spot long press and I can paste and it put it in there just like I had copied it and this works throughout the operating system I can type something into the browser then select it copy it paste it right into email or my messaging app something we've all been waiting for and you know glad it's here now all of you people with the Nexus S or those that have found the file floating around to install this keyboard on your phone know exactly what I'm talking about those of you that haven't tried it yet be a link in the post for the keyboard maybe you can get it installed if you're rooted and you can have a crack at it too you all have a good one i'm out of here